First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. <coughs> Excuse me, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Archim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to the few Akwath that's listening in today. I'm back at you with another lesson titled The MOTB Will Be Forced Upon You. Thus saith the prophecy. All right, because you know what you're seeing here on the screen comes from uh, one infamous gym owner in London. I'm not going to specify too much, but basically, he kept his, he, he tried his very best and did to a certain extent keep his gym open until lockdown. Okay, no, he's an Eden Mac, but. He has strong views against the government, you know, the elite, wicked elite, which he refers to as the, the cabal. And, um, yeah, he strongly opposes them. So, you know, that's Isaiah 19 and 2. And I will set Egyptian against the Egyptian. Okay. But he doesn't agree with um, the Crown Vic stuff. And this whole MOTB, this fourth industrial revolution, you, you don't uh, agree with it. But anyways, so I woke up this morning, I went on the gram, and I see this on his story. Um, there's a few posts actually, so I'ma just, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'ma go through them. Okay, I'ma go through them. So uh, let's read this first one here. Oh, yeah, that's what inspired me to do this lesson, man. And I had spoken on the MOTB in a little while. You know, that's one of the prophecies that we need to be preparing ourselves for. So it is important that we, uh, we touch on it. Anyways, let's read it. So he said, uh, I'll try not to sound too negative to all the people out there fighting against CBDCs, which ultimately you're fighting a losing battle, as this is all prophecy and this is the will of your how about Shemiah Shai. There's nothing you can do against the will of the Heavenly Father. But, you know, the 2nd Ezra 9 does say, that there will be uproars of the people so you know he's pretty much playing his part in prophecy uh, i think that second is just nine and three uh he says uh protesting <clears throat> against cbdc's is not the answer this is in fact accepting the central banking system that is currently in place the fiat currency gbp uh, you know, because these Federal Reserve notes, right? They really and truly, and you know, he did a video on his uh, uh, on his Instagram page, talking about what is money, and saying how pretty much, which is true, pretty much how money is worthless. It doesn't mean anything, and the only reason, the only people that give money value is the people, is the belief that it has some sort of value. Because, you know, you take it back a couple. Uh, 100 years ago Even I believe they stopped doing it in the 40s Maybe or the 50s So you take it back a few years And um, Your money Was backed by Like gold All right, So you'd be able to go into the bank And give in a certain amount of money And then they'd be able to give you a certain amount of gold Because you're like that You know That money actually had meaning It was worth something Which you know obviously the true currency is gold and silver but now the money isn't backed by um <clears throat> by gold or silver it's literally just paper that's literally all it is is a piece of paper and what gives money value is the belief that money has value that's why you got jake chasing the bag when really and truly jake is wasting time because that money don't mean shit If he ain't got no gold and silver He ain't got no money man Truth be told But once again the, the belief That these FRNs have value 
is what makes is what gives our current money value. All right, it's belief. Okay. So, anyways, reading on, it says, uh, "If you accept the current, all right, the current the FRNs, Federal Reserve notes, the current banking system that is in place, then you are accepting that the Bank of England governs that system, which they do." And therefore, they can do what they like with their system. So, yeah, which is what they're doing. Moving to the fourth industrial revolution, digitalizing the money. Because it's their system. They can do whatever the hell they want. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I.e., switch from that fiat currency to CBDCs. Yeah, which is what they're doing. He goes on to say, if people really learn about the current central banking system place fiat currency they would understand that it is already no different to cbdc's which is true because all that's happening with the cbdc's is that now is moving to a digitalized system which ultimately they'd be able to oversee absolutely everything because with the current monetary system you know if you keep the money in the account and you pay for things by card and stuff then ultimately everything that you pay for can be tracked but then you have the option to withdraw cash, right? So you can withdraw cash. And when you withdraw cash, you um, uh, if you pay for things, it, it can't be tracked. You know, it, it can't be traced. Okay. But now they want full control in which they want to see every single transaction that takes place on the earth. They want to know where your money is. They want to know where you go. And they'll be able to track that if they make the... Uh, money system absolutely digital which is what they're planning to do with the cbdc which is central bank digital currency all right so that's all that's changed is that they will now be able to oversee absolutely every single transaction that takes place because you're not going to have that cash element involved it's all going to be digitalized all right and this devil wants full control because he uh you know he believes that he is god esau believes he is god and furthermore he believes he's greater than god all right the pride of thine heart have deceived you okay uh so the guy goes on to say um there's only one answer to stopping the bank of england from switching to their digital uh to a digital system uh he says abandoning the bank of england and their current system in place all right so pretty much just abandon using cash you know, stop using their monetary, the money, uh, uh, sorry, their monetary system, and pretty much create your own system. All right, that's pr pretty much his solution. But then, like, yeah, okay, that's a good idea, whatever. But who, who, who governs that then? Who, oh, fucking, it's a lucky man. It's just these certain drivers, anyway. But who, 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 who governs that then? You know, can you really trust the people? You can't even trust the government. To, to, to govern your money But now nah, you want to trust just all oh, Society The people Because they're good hearted people in this world Right You know So he says um, Continues on to say If everyone stops using The Bank of England's money So your pound notes Your dollars And you name it right And you stop using their money Until they Reverted To a commodity Backed currency which is what they had As I said before The money that you had Was backed by gold Right You'd be able to walk in To the bank With a certain amount of money And say let me get And, and it will equivalent To a certain amount of gold And they would be able To give that to you Now Your money is literally Nothing but a piece of paper Nothing but a piece of paper man And you see when this system comes crashing and burning that's when proverbs 11 and 4 is really going to settle in for, for 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 these bag chasing uh uh, uh jakes you know they're going to realize that really riches profit not in the day of wrath but righteousness deliver from death and 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 the true riches is having this wisdom knowledge and understanding of the scriptures that's the true riches man you can read uh uh, what's that Romans 11 And 33 I believe If I'm not mistaken Okay Reverted to a commodity backed currency 
which had every pound in circulation backed by a physical assets. I already just brought that down. Uh, he says, in the meantime, what's wrong with a little bartering? Which bartering is basically where you, you exchange something for something. So let's say you got a pair of shoes and I want some AirPods. I give you my AirPods for those shoes. That's bartering. Shit example, but you get the gist. All right. Uh, what's wrong with a little trading? What's wrong with a little credit slash debit note system among ourselves? And this is, uh, I believe, uh, who is that? Who is that Israelite celebrity? Uh, what's his name? Man? I forget the guy's name. He's one American brother. In which he, this is pretty much what he's trying to do. All right. But that's not the will of the Heavenly Father, truth be told. All right. The Heavenly Father wants this devil to go forth with his plan so we can destroy him, man. Job 20 and 22. You know, when he's about to fill his belly, then the Most High shall rain down the, the, the you know, the, um, damn, let me just get that real quick. Let me just get that real quick. It's Job 20. And 23 When he's about to fill his belly The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him And shall rain it upon him while he is eating So the Heavenly Father wants this devil to be puffed up with pride And think that his uh, new financial system is going to work Just so that um, he can rain down the, the, the wrath of his fury upon him when he Just when he thinks that everything is all, you know, mission accomplished Everything is done Done and dusted Right So Heavenly Father's going to allow it to happen uh, yeah, That's the thumbnail for today You know But yeah The point of the matter is There's nothing anyone can do To stop These devils Implementing the CBDC man. And it's being set up right in front of our noses You know I've heard that uh, in Nigeria They're pretty much um, They're pretty much uh, ex Extremely limiting The amount of cash You can withdraw Just to get people in line To accept this The uh, CBDC Alright Something along those lines Where you can withdraw A very small amount per, uh, Within a certain period of time you know, so that people can get used to this new digital system. You know, so they're 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 going forward with this agenda, and it's in the most high's will that they do go forward with this agenda. All right. So really and truly, we shouldn't be praying that this that the devil doesn't fulfill this. We should be praying that the devil fulfills this man, so that we, you know, so that we can get out of it pretty much. You know, because these things need to happen, man. How, like, if we're not put in that tribulation, what is the Heavenly Father coming? What is what is the Heavenly Father sending Yahweh Shad down to save us from? We need to be saved from something. All right? So we need to be put in that position of difficulty, truth be told. You see? And, um, yeah, it's all easy to say to set up a... Um, a financial system amongst yourselves But then, okay, who's, who's going to supply the food? You know Who's, who's going who's gonna, to uh, 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 Deal with, with everything else that comes with it Because it's, yeah, yeah, you can set up the monetary system But, but you know Someone's still got to do the farming And, and who's going to deal with the payroll and, and all of that You see, Esau Edom has that all set up, man So it's not that easy to just all of a sudden Just, just set up your own financial system Amongst the people, man and, and, and when you're refusing to, to get in line with the MOTB, you can't buy or sell, you can't feed your child, and, 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 and reality kicks in, right? Then you're going to be like, you know what, fuck it. The MOTB don't sound all that bad. I mean, I ain't eating in 10 days. Maybe I should just bow down to the rule of Esau and take that MOTB. Which, if you're an Israelite, that, that, that's game over for you i mean if you're a heathen whether you take it or not like the lord ain't dealing with you anyway man the lord is only coming for the elect of the nation of israel 
and this message is only for the elect okay so you know let's bring out the the main scripture all right we've got to constantly remind ourselves of this man because the uh, uh this time is upon us you see this is revelation chapter 13 and verse 16 and it reads and he calls off all right not some not most all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a m-a-r-k a c hip all right put the word c and hip together and you get what i'm trying to say you know that micro c hip okay in their right hand or in their forehead what's elon musk doing with this Neuralink. so that's what this is talking about right and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the the the, the c hip or the name uh or the number of his name all right so he, if you don't have this c hip you don't have this motb all right which is the mark of the you know what b to the e to the a to the s to the t if you don't have that then you can't buy or sell bro yeah the bartering might uh, uh work out for a little bit but what happens when you start meeting you know now you ain't got things that people want and vice versa then what how are you gonna feed those starving kids how are you gonna feed yourself and this is how the devil is gonna get a lot of these people to um, uh, uh, um, uh, to submit to his will and to get the MOTB by pretty much taking these privileges away from them all right making the people completely reliant why do you think inflation is so high right now and then and then you got, same time you got the government screaming oh we can support you in this and support you in that all these different benefits and this is that and things that are meant to so-called help you well really and truly is to make you overly dependent on the government all right so you basically feel like your back's against the wall and you ain't got no other choice but to depend on esau you know but jeremiah 17 and 5 says curse be the man that trusteth in man you trust in esau edom that's going to be your downfall man we're meant to trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay? Not Esau. Because we, we know that the Heavenly Father controls the left and the right. So why, why fear Esau rather than the power that's controlling Esau? You see? And then furthermore, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 10 says, Never trust thine enemy. For as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So yeah, you might think he's trying to help you with his MOTB. Oh yeah, innovative technology and uh, this is the future and oh, it's so efficient and easy to pay for things and to do this and to do that. Then you realize that really and truly, you've got no privacy no more and that actually he's trying to control you. Then you realize, oh shit, you've pretty much uh, 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 fell into, the, the, um, into Satan's net. You know, you're just a little creepy crawly and then the spider web got you and now you're stuck. And that's what's going to happen with a lot of people, man. They're going to realize they're stuck. Because you see, you take that MOTB, especially as an Israelite, and you're damned. All right? You're like, 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 you've decided your fate. You've, you taking that MOTB is basically you, basically you telling the Heavenly Father, I don't need you. I trust in Esau, Edom. You provide no value to my life. Uh, basically, fuck off. That's what you're telling the Heavenly Father. And yeah, I got to say it like that. Because you people got to realise what you're doing, man. So, therefore, with that being said, why would you think that the Heavenly Father isn't going to judge the hell out of you for submitting to the will of the devil when he's told you not to take it? As an Israelite, as a Jake, he said, don't take it, bro, you take it. And you think that, oh, he, you know, the Heavenly Father is just some massive teddy bear and ain't nothing going to happen to you, man. Well, let's read Revelation 14. Uh... And nine. 
and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image yeah you take you bow down to this system you take that MOTB you trust in Esau right and receive his MOTB his C hip in his forehead or in his hand what's going to happen the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb all right so that's what's going to happen to you for trusting in esau edom man you are going to be severely punished you are going to be judged so for all you israelites that are chasing the bag you know chasing this worthless currency you know you are literally chasing a piece of paper bro you need to fix up and realize that you've been scammed that that money don't mean shit that money has no value wake up man because if you decide that's more important than your faith in your how about you're gonna fit this prophecy in revelation 14 man you're gonna die a horrible death you're going to be judged severely and you don't want that smoke none of us want that smoke that's why you know we do the best that we can to make sure that we end up on the good books of the heavenly father man we do not want that smoke all right well you know what does it say in uh habakkuk 3 and 2 i've heard that speech and was afraid man we was afraid when we heard the the truth of the scriptures all right and before the heavenly father even takes you out in the grief in the grievous way that he will if you submit uh uh to the devil and take his motb it says that 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 those that took the the the, the thing the see hip they got a grievous sore you know where's that in revelation which is pretty much a cancer you know because you're putting all this radiation in your body man you, you have the neural link you got the uh uh uh, uh oh, man where is it? I think it has it worded. You know, you got the Neuralink in your in your head. You know, you got the C hip in your hand, transmitting 5G, 6G signals. Alright. Imagine how bad that is for you. There it is. I thought I'll let you how about you, Mel Shai. Imagine how bad that is for you, man. All that radiation that you're being exposed to. Right? But, oh, but this devil he's here to help you, right? You simple ass niggas, man. How, how, uh, how long will you simple ones love simplicity Alright So I'm going to close out here in Revelation 16 and 2 Alright in fact let's start at the top Verse 1 And I heard a great voice out of the temple Saying to the seven angels Go your ways And pour out the vials Of the wrath Of the most high upon the earth And the first went And poured out his vial upon the earth and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the MOTB and upon them which worshipped his image. So yeah, you bow down to the system. You're like, fuck it. I'm going to take the C-hip. I'm going to take the MOTB. Don't need to believe in God. God ain't real. Whatever the hell your excuses. Oh, kids are starving. I'm starving. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're going to receive that noisome and grievous sore that cancer and then the heavenly father is going to take you out in a drastic way man whether that be nuclear missiles whether you die of severe starvation whether the fowls of the air eat you up whatever man it's hebrews 10 and 31 it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power man all right so this motb will be forced upon you man they no, it ain't going to be no oh yeah let's create our own monetary system and this this that and blah 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 man this devil is strategically making you dependent on him raising all this inflation offering all these benefits and this this that and the other all right and you're gonna have to be completely dependent on him when you realize you can't feed your child because you ain't taking the sea hip you can't feed yourself because you ain't taking the sea hip you can't work a job because you ain't taking the sea hip and then you know your, your back's gonna be against the wall man it's easy to say now when you've got it all sweet okay 
and you're comfortable somewhat but when you literally have no other options and your back's against the wall you, that's when that's how Esau is going to get you man alright but you see we ain't got to worry about none of that because uh, you know the elect will be saved from this time of trouble you know we're going to be good in that time man you know Lord willing the Lord bless us with spiritual power we going to be alright you know Miracles are going to be happening for the elect Isaiah 65 and 13 Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh Behold my servant shall eat But ye shall be hungry My servant shall drink But ye shall be thirsty Because look this devil he's trying to get you lots to be eating bugs And all kinds of different fucking weird shit That you don't want to eat anyway So what's the point? What's the fucking point? Honestly Alright my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Those of you who trusted in Esau, Edom, that trusted in man, you're going to be ashamed, man. Verse 14, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of, of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit, man. So two-thirds of our people are going to be howling for vexation of spirit because they trusted in Esau, Edom. They trusted in man. They didn't trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahashai, man. All right? So, you know, I pretty much made the point there, man. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. Until the next time I say Shalom.